In this movie, we're going to take a look at some of the functions with which we can output more user-friendly data from our time and date column types. We're going to use the SELECT statement to pull the data that we get back from these functions directly onto the MySQL console. The first of these functions is called month name. That's the first one we're going to look at. And it takes one argument, and that is the date, in this case, the timestamp column from the time demo table. April is what the function returns. The reason there are four rows there is that there are four rows in the time demo table. Now, let's take a look at another one day name and we can use the date time column just as well let's specify a limit of one so we can just get one response from this query as we can see the day name function returns Sunday there are a whole raft of different date and time functions that we can use to pull the month name or the name of the day or the particular year, seconds and so on from a complete date and time such as the timestamp, such as the date and time or where relevant the date and time column types. However, there's a very flexible function called date format and we write that as date underscore format and this takes two arguments and it does pretty much the same job as all the rest of them and more. Let's take a look at the way it works. The syntax is slightly more complicated. For the first argument we put in the name of the column where we're going to find the date and time in the first place. The second argument is a string between two inverted commas and that is going to take whatever we want. So we can put in today is and then we can use the percent sign to show one of the special characters that we use along with the date format function and you can find a complete listing of these characters in your MySQL documentation but let's take a look at a couple of examples right here and we're going to limit it to one response as we can see the date format can do just what the day name can but it can add whatever text we want to put in as well. We're not limited either to simply drawing one piece of data from a date or time column type. Let's say we want to specify something much more complicated such as this is a certain day and then we're going to say D, which stands for the number of the the date of the month and that includes the two letters that, that follow the number such as RD in 23rd or TH in 14th and then the name of the month as a word rather than as numbers and then we're going to say AD year and we need to specify that that's from the time demo table with a limit of one to just get one response back from that. As we can see this very concise syntax allows us to pull a very specifically formatted sentence from our timestamp column. So this is a very quick way of outputting a more user-friendly way of expressing the date and time than simply a string of numbers. Once again for a complete list of these codes that we use within the date underscore format function have a look in your MySQL documentation. There's no real point in me going through each and every one here in this movie but if you find you need to use them then the date format function is quite a powerful way of outputting the date and time in a more user-friendly way.